Hey everybody, Ryan Kim, America's best friend. I'm here at Riverbend Farm with George Crane, the owner, the operator, the master sugar maker here. How many taps do you have? 400 trees. How did you get into sugar making? Uh, when I was eight years old, I followed my father to the sugar house and to give me something to do, he had me split wood, gather sap, and drive the horses to pick up the sap in the woods. You were in the trucking business for a long time and yes. you used to haul right down this road right here. Yes. Then 25 years ago, you decided, you were driving by, you saw this land for sale and you thought, it's a nice place to be. Correct. This is a pretty old school tap system. Uh, it's a metal tap here with just a bucket, a hung bucket, and a lid that slides on and off. It's definitely the most labor intensive way of collecting sap these days. And it's very old school, just like getting maple syrup out of a cemetery. <laughs> so you've been collecting sap for a long, long time. You've Correct. been doing this for a long time. You used to have an operation 10 times as large. Correct. 4,000 taps. Correct. And you've since scaled down to yeah, the hobbyist I'm level. Reti I'm retired now, just a hobby level. Gotcha. Wow. If you want George's syrup from this beautiful property Correct. and Correct. surrounding acreage, you've got to come right here to get it. Correct. George, do you have any other last thoughts you want to share about your life as a sugar or? Uh, the only thing I could tell you is there's a difference between a Vermont sugar maker and a sugar maker anywhere else in the country. What's that? And that is everywhere in the country when you go up to a bucket and you take the cover off and invariably there's a little mouse in the spring of the year going through the woods. He smells the sweet. He climbs up the, the trunk of the tree. He goes around the bucket. He goes to the edge of the bucket. He sticks his nose in there and he falls in and he can't, he can't, he, he can't get out and he drowns. So everywhere else in the, everywhere else, New York, Ohio, Michigan, Canada, they take the mouse out by the tail and wrinkle their nose and throw, throw the mouse away. Here in Vermont, we take the mouse like this and we get all the sap. <laughs> and then we throw the mouse away. We don't let anything drop on the ground. <laughs> Not one drop wasted. Not one drop wasted. But so the end product. <laughs> yeah, Vermont is known for hard work, sobriety, and clean living. Of course, that leaves both you and I out. <laughs> <laughs> George, thank yeah, you so uh, much for okay. having us today. Very good. I know you're really busy. Okay. You're the only guy here working right now. Yep. Um, really appreciate it. Come back it. anytime. We'll come back. We'll drink some syrup. See you guys later. Thanks again for watching another episode of America's Best Friend. Please check out my Patreon page and consider becoming a supporter of this project.